up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the LA Auto Show 2022 edition. Of course, we had a stop at the Chevrolet booth and I'm standing next to this big bad boy right here. This is it. This is your 2024 Chevrolet Silverado HD. But before we get into this redesigned, upgraded technology, and of course, that tree stump pulling power, let's talk about what's going on here. Chevrolet, they've been doing the truck business for decades, and it's interesting because when you look at the Silverado, obviously we have brought a lot when it comes to the Silverado being that 1500 series truck. This being their HD, that 2500 series truck, is really showing that more ferocious power, but also that usability. Now what's fascinating is that for this upcoming model year, there's a lot of change that's happening with many of the brands that sell these big trucks. And when it comes to the Silverado HD, you could still have it your way, just like Burger King. You could start off with a WT, a work truck, that entry level, or you could work your way up to this level with our high country. But what I wanna find out is, is this the best heavy duty truck that you should be buying new for that 2024 model year? Let's dive into this high country and find out. Right off the bat, obviously the sheer size and how when you go high country and this one also has that midnight edition setup, everything blacked out really takes the truck to a new level. You'll notice the design philosophy transitioning throughout the different Chevrolet products, LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, love the style, a little bit of this carbon fiber faux design going on, which looks good. And then working your way down, I love the way they boomerang the lighting into the lower fascia. Now, as we drop down on this particular trim, you'll notice the gloss black polished front bumper looking really great. Of course, we're gonna get LED fog lamps and then coming across the new redesigned grill. When you go high country, this is the grill that you will get. Nice horizontal slots with the black chrome, the blacked out bow tie, all that history going back to the early 1900s with Louis Chevrolet, forward facing camera with a washer, very important for when you're doing stuff on road or maybe a little off road. And then as we come back down, you're gonna get these nice bright chrome tow hooks, pull those Fords, pull those Rams out of the dirt, out of the mud, and obviously plenty of ground clearance. Now, when we get up onto that big, bold hood, what do we got going on here? Love the way it's got the Chevrolet name. You got that functional hood scoop, nice, bold, powerful. And that's what an HD is all about. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with when you go high country? You're gonna take a look at these absolutely stupendous wheels, 22 inch in size, love the new pattern. I'm gonna give you a closer look in just a few moments, but I just wanted to give you like a bird's eye overall feel. 22 inch wheels, 265 on the width, 60 series sidewall, and really just like I said, this whole blacked out midnight edition, which is new for 2024, is looking really great. Now, as we rise up, you do have some flat black. I'm okay with that because it doesn't go too high into the fender. We got our high country badge. I'll give you a closer look in just a few seconds. The sheer size of this thing is just absolutely amazing. Now, you'll notice that we have the running boards, and you might say, well, Joe, those seem a little low. These are actually power folding running boards, and because we are at the auto show, they have them in their lower position. Obviously, when you go to drive this vehicle, which hopefully we'll be doing in the next few months, those running boards will obviously go back up into the body. Now, before we just wrap this up, I wanna kinda have Lori come in to this wonderful display that we're at at the LA Auto Show. And now we're gonna kinda go back over in close detail what's going on with the side of the vehicle. So taking a look at the wheels, 22 inch in diameter, absolutely massive. And I love the way they did the nice design. You got these off-road spec tires that give you plenty of sidewall protection. And then as we rise up, it's a high rise, you need a ladder, high country badge. That's the Colorado Rockies right there. That's where Louis Chevrolet used to have a little uh, 
kind of cottage up there in the mountains. And then up on the hood, what do we got? We have that Duramax turbo diesel badge with the Allison transmission badge. A lot of history there. And we'll talk more about that when we pop the hood. Of course, we're gonna have our LED lighting in the mirrors, even lighting how you can see on the side. That's gonna give you a nice bird's eye view. Coming down the side, you got color match and you got this great trim with the 2500 HD badge there that slides all the way down. Now, one thing that I like that you see on this truck is gonna be getting into the bed. Really, really great to have these side steps to climb on into the bed to grab whatever you need. You can see that Rancho suspension. I'm actually gonna have Lori kind of swing around, show the red and the white. That's that Rancho suspension. Gives us that extra lift. And you got the nice fender flare, nothing too crazy. And then as we swing it around back, here's where, like I said, you see another step. This is something that was so smart that Chevrolet brought with the Silverado, having that nice wide step, whether you have a work boot, some clown shoes, whatever you got, maybe you got like a big, huge Paul Bunyan foot, you could get it in there. And just like Paul Bunyan, you could then climb on into your truck and go get old blue out of the woods that's stuck in some mud. LED lighting, new tail lights. You got the high country badge. The blacked out appearance on this thing really makes it just look super sinister, super luxurious because the high country trim is that luxury trim. Obviously, you're gonna have your digital rear view mirror. You got all your access to get into that tailgate and then dropping on down, of course, with an HD, you do some major towing. You got your spare tire mounted underneath. Look at that exhaust opening. You could actually take a Granny Smith Apple and freaking put it in there and then rev the engine and launch it and hit somebody in the back of the head with it, knock them right out. That's how massive that is. And then of course, you hit the bunt loose. Soft release, has the nice bed liner in it. Of course, you're gonna have all your tie down locations on the passenger side, let me show you. We have, of course, our power source and you have your interior LED lighting. And then on the driver's side, we have more accessibility. Nicely done, look at this. One, two, buckle your shoe. Three, four, close the door. And you have that power sliding rear cab window. But you know what? not just about the outside of the truck that matters. Let's pop that massive hood and check out the power plant of this Silverado HD. All right guys, I put away the ladder, got the hood open. Now it's time to see the heart of the 2024 Silverado HD. I'm gonna swing out of the way because Lori needs all the room that she could gather here. But what do we have under the hood of this particular one? You're looking at that 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo v8 pumping out 470 horsepower 975 pound feet of torque you could pull a house off of its foundation it's bolted to the allison 10 speed automatic transmission this truck can tow 36,000 pounds now you might say to me well joe i don't want a duramax turbo diesel what's my other option your other option is a 6.6 .6 liter naturally aspirated v8 that puts out 401 horsepower, 464 pound-feet of torque. It's bolted to a six-speed automatic and tows up to 17,000 pounds. The great news is you could have, like I said, start with the WT, the LT, the Custom, the LTZ, and the High Country. And there is, of course, still the Z71 off-road package and the upcoming ZR2, which I can't wait to see. But you know what? Trucks have changed over the years. It's not just about what's underneath the hood. It's about that interior. Let's go ahead. Let's dive into the new Silverado 2500 HD interior and check it out. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I love this new truck, especially comparing it to the Ford or the Ram. I guess the big question is, how much is it? Well, when you're looking at pricing, no official pricing is unveiled at this very moment, but 
look at the spread, usually starting around $42,000 and then specking it out to around $80,000. But we'll have to see about the hard numbers. But until that day comes, let's see what you're getting on the interior to the door panels. Love what they've done with the high country. So you're getting soft touch material up top, real wood finish. And I like the way it doesn't have some crummy veneer on it. Soft touch on the armrest, no gloss black anywhere. Even the stitching in the center there. And then you have your massive door pocket. You can get easily two California calzones. And if you're wondering what the heck is a California calzone, it's actually a typical traditional calzone filled with guacamole and salsa. Plus you got two cup holders there to get a couple nice fresh Snapple iced teas. Bose sound system with a speaker grill cover the size of a 22 inch wheel. And then going from the door panel to the dash, I love the stitching, more of that nice wood finish. Don't get any splinters when you're rubbing your wood after a hard day of work. What's great is open that up, easily put a baker's dozen of Twinkies in there, lots of usable space. Close the door and then look at what we got here. Over 13 inches of infotainment system screen. This is the new system, Google Maps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got all your nice swipe features. We could go into cameras. Look at the people here at the show. It's like, it looks like we're spying on people, doing a little bit of people watching. I could go through all the different angles. And General Motors does a great job on their picture quality. Also can scroll separately on the right hand side. You got your toggle switches, you got your volume knob, and then you got your start stop button right down below. Now High Country has three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, USB-C, USB-A, dual climate control, and then check out this party tray. Fill this up with a five pound bag of Skittles. You could taste the rainbow as you're driving underneath the rainbow. Two cup holders on the side, you gotta have your banana holder, especially if you're lacking potassium, have a banana or two. Another fun place to get potassium is broccoli, just so you know, but it'd be kind of weird to drive around with like a big head of broccoli sitting in the truck, or maybe some broccoli rob. But anyways, two cup holders, wireless charging, drop it right in there. Love the stitching, soft touch material. We're gonna open this bad boy up. How are we gonna open it? I don't even know how you open this thing. But boom, there we go. USB-C, USB-A, and enough room in there to where you could easily put, I would say, 2,700 marbles, maybe 2,800. If you haven't lost your marbles, or maybe you have, keep them in here and you won't lose them. You got a home power source, USB-A, USB-C. Close that down, the seats, the leather, high country. You're high on the hog in your high country. The stitching, full power assist for the passenger, full power assist for the driver. The one zonk, standard sunroof. Where's my panoramic sunroof? I almost want to go get a, a sawzall and open up the rest of this roof, but I'm not going to do that. I want to show you the rest of the interior. Come on over behind the wheel of the Silverado HD. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. What's great is, is that you get a nice but simple high country sill plate. I wish it would light up LED just to make it a little bit more special. You got your Chevrolet all weather protection floor mats. That's worth an additional five extra pound feet of torque. You do have your seat controls, easy to get to. I don't even need to talk about room. There's plenty of room in here. If you can't fit in this truck, hmm. You might want to just chop the roof off. But other than that, lots of great space. I like the way that Chevy puts their 4x4 system for low, for high, too high, all within your mode selector switch. We have our leather wrap steering wheel with the stitching. I would like to see a blackout bow tie and some stitching on the horn button. So I am going to have to zonk the horn button, but it is a heated steering wheel. We do have our column shift for our 10 speed Allison automatic transmission, and then you got that new 12-inch digital display. Love the way it's got all the graphics 
and information that you can need. You can see how we're tra I'm actually changing the modes off-road to normal, to off-road and a tow mode, which is great. Just like I was saying, would be nice to have a head up just, oh, I'll take it back. The show lights are getting to me. This also has a massive head up display and I apologize for the beeping. It's getting me off my A game, but it's the only way for me to be able to show all the great technology on at the show. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see what your passengers are gonna experience in this Silverado. All right guys, back seat time. And you know what? This is the type of truck that you take your family to the Texas State Fair in. And what's surprising is that they actually officially unveiled this at the Texas State Fair this year. Now what's interesting, backs to the seats with the leather, you have massive pockets, easily put a couple elephant ears, maybe even some funnel cake from the fair that you take home with you. You do have a nice little command center, two cup holders, three stages of heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And that's a little bit of a zonk to me. USB-C, USB-A. The room is spectacular. I mean, I could sit here right now with one of those deep fried Oreos and just chow on down, or maybe even one of those burgers where it's two Krispy Kreme donuts as your bun and a meaty burger in the center and just be like this, eat it while I'm being driven around, just like that. But anyways, I do get a nice armrest for some cup holders and or look at this, fried Twinkie. That's a thing. Check it out at your local fair. And then whenever you need to hide something from somebody, which I don't recommend because secrets don't make friends, you do have storage built into the actual seat. That's smart engineering from General Motors. And also underneath, look at how nice that just picks up out of the way and you could get those larger objects back here. But you know what? We can't drive it yet. I want to, but we can't. But stay tuned, we're gonna be bringing it to you. Let's wrap it up from LA. All right guys, it's been a fun time here at the LA Auto Show. Let me know what you think about the new Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. Is this your ultimate truck? Is it worth the price? Put your response down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. We definitely got to give it up to the HD behind that camera, the hardest working camera person in the universe. Lori, working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.